Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Economic Development Committee at the New York City Council. Today is Thursday, October 7, 2021. My name is Paul Vallone. I have the privilege of chairing this committee. The purpose of today's hearing is to vote on a critical piece of legislation pertaining to urban agriculture in our city. Proposed intro 1663A, sponsored by Councilmember Ben Kalos, would establish an Office of Urban Agriculture to be housed within the Office of Long-Term Planning and Sustainability, as well as an Urban Agricultural Advisory Board, comprised of various stakeholders focused on urban agriculture from the worlds of policy, agribusiness, land uses, advocacy, and the restaurant industry. The purpose of the Office of Urban Agriculture would be to promote urban agriculture and establish a program to support and research for advancing urban agriculture legislation and policy. The Urban Agriculture Advisory Board would advise city agencies on various issues relating to urban agriculture in the city and submit regular recommendations to the mayor and the speaker of the city council. This bill, when paired with proposed introduction 1058A, which the Land Use Committee is voting on this morning, creates a robust framework for the city's urban agricultural enthusiasts and businesses and gives them a permanent voice in city government. Before I turn the floor over to the bill's sponsor, I'd like to thank the Economic Development Committee staff, Legislative Council Alex Polonoff, Policy Analyst William Hongak, and Finance Analyst Aliyah Ali, as well as Senior Policy Analyst Nada Johnson for all of their hard work negotiating this bill. I'll now turn the floor over to Councilmember Kalos to make some remarks on proposed intro 1663A. Councilmember Kalos. I will yield to Councilmember Mark Joni and the committee clerk. All right, Councilmember Joni. I vote aye. Oh, well, the clerk can call the roll then. Yeah. That, well, no, that, now, now I'm going to <laughs> make my uh, statement, if I may. Yes, please. I, I want to thank the Economic Development uh, Chair uh, Vallone for his leadership on this and other food issues throughout our city. Um, as we live through a pandemic, we are seeing our food systems stretched to the brink. And I will yield to the committee clerk once again. Can we again. have the clerk call the roll now, and then we'll give Councilmember Kalos a couple of minutes after the roll call. Or just for Councilmember Joni? Okay. Opening roll call for Councilmember Joni. Uh, proposed introduction 1663A. Aye. Thank you, sir. Okay, Councilmember Kalos, you may continue. The pandemic has shown us that our food network is not necessarily sustainable. It's been vulnerable. We've seen the price of groceries here in New York City going up and a sustainable city means a city that has its own agriculture. Uh, urban agriculture is growing here in our city. In my district, we have uh, funded, uh, worked with Grow NYC to fund programming at almost every single school in the neighborhood. We've also created partnerships with NYCHA. Back in 2017, Council Member Rafael Espinal, who originally introduced this bill with the then borough president and still borough president for Brooklyn, Eric Adams, each set aside a million dollars for urban agriculture, uh, working with EDC in Brooklyn. Uh, in the first term, uh, Council Member Espinal uh, was able to force the city to launch an urban agriculture website uh, to support urban agriculture. This is now going to actually set up an actual fully fledged office of urban agriculture that will continue to maintain this website. It will work with our city's vast network of community gardens, farming at public housing, commercial farming, the Office of Food Policy, school gardens, and our organics collection services. It will also play a role in reporting. And there's gonna be an advisory board where we will be having uh, young people and I will say I had the opportunity to meet with DeWitt Clinton, and I'm not talking about when the kids from DeWitt Clinton would come to Bronx Science to beat us up. Uh, we were actually on the same block. Uh, I got to meet with some of the newer students recently, and they have an urban agriculture program there where they actually eat the food that they grow uh, in these uh, vertical risers, and I was incredibly, incredibly impressed with the program and the types of jobs that we have that we're growing right here in the city. So I want to thank everyone for their support. I'm happy to carry this legislation on behalf of Borough President Eric Adams and uh, Councilmember Espinal. And I will uh, thank the chair for the hearing and everyone for their indulgence. Thank you, Councilmember Kalos, and what a victory for our students. And the fact that you've already implemented in every school in your district is truly a testament 
to your passion on this subject. Um, I'd like at this time to have the clerk to call the roll so we can have a vote on intro 1663A. Thank you, William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on economic development, chair Vallone. I vote aye. Lander. Aye. Council member Lander votes aye. Barron. Thank you, I vote aye. Carnegie. Uh, permission to explain my vote? Permission granted. So while I really am enjoying the, the, what we're putting forward today, um, there are organizations that I want to make sure are included in the pipeline, like Campaign Against Hunger, who has urban agricultural farms that they're literally using uh, for, to help fight and combat uh, food insecurity. So I just wanted to put on the record uh, that um, this is a great bill. I want to thank Councilmember Kalos, former Councilmember Espinal. Um, I want to thank the chair for thinking that this is important enough to make sure that we bring it before the body. But I just wanted to make sure that we understand that there are already uh, agricultural uh, entities that exist that work very hard to get uh, fresh food and vegetables into the hands and the mouths of marginalized communities and that we do not overlook their contributions prior to the bill and that we include them in the bill going forward. Thank you. I vote aye. Lewis. Thank you, Ben. I vote aye. By a vote of six in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, item has been adopted by the committee. If we could, I just found out that Councilmember Keith Power is just a few minutes away. If we can keep it open for him to put his vote on, that would be great. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>